to the committee. After that, she worked in KRA. What I'm saying, Mr. Speaker, Anne Wangoba is the right person for that position, and she is a little reflection of a bottom-up. I support. Correre, you'll be the last. Yes. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I want to support the nomination of the, the candidate. I happen to sit in the Committee on Security and Administration. And clearly, Speaker, the appointment of this lady to the position of PS is a real bottom-up approach. Because this lady came from being a secondary school teacher and she climbed all the way to where she is now. But having said that, Mr. Speaker, she's got quite a wealth background of knowledge. She's hardworking and uh, she really merits the appointment. But having said that, Mr. Speaker, I must also say, as a minority, I am a bit skeptical. And I am afraid if the kind of appointments you are seeing will continue that way, then surely the minorities cannot claim to have a stake in this government. And Mr. Speaker, I say this without fear of contradiction because I know His Excellency the President is president today because he got votes from everywhere from this republic. And Mr. Speaker, when we are seeing main appointments going to two major communities in this country, then that leaves a lot of us with the questions. Are we really part of this country? Are our people targeted? Why are they being punished? Mr. Speaker, the other day, we passed the appointment of the governor of Central Bank in this house. And personally, I have a lot of reservations. Because unless somebody proves me otherwise, it looks like for anybody to be a governor of Central Bank in this country, you must come from a particular region. And Mr. Speaker, it is very painful when our people are put on the list just to be pacemakers in the race. And Mr. Speaker, I really want to plead with the President. You know, Speaker, when I first came to this house, I was nominated by URP, courtesy of the President himself, meaning he has an eye and an ear for the minority. And as a minority, I must say, in the last 10 years of the two previous administrations, the minorities were completely forgotten. And this is the only president whom the minorities have some hope in. So, Mr. Mr. Speaker, as I support, I want to do it with a rider than the 10, year, that the 10 years of William Samuel Ruto as the president is the only president the minorities have hope with because the last 20 years, the minorities were completely buried in appointments in this country. And the last time the minorities saw some light in this country was during the reign of the president, the late Mze Moi. So, I know he's a very good uh, student of Moi, and I know the minorities during his reign will have some story to tell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tongay. Give the mic to Tongay. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity 